Hi everybody, it's Diana at Catherine Diana Studios and this video is a quick public service announcement. Um, I ordered some wonderful um, historical documents. I mean, they're not official, but they are letters. You know, I, I, uh, they're 19th century uh, letters. I include them in my drunk junk journals and these are, you know, written in French and uh, envelopes. I get all that kind of stuff and I'll buy letters and stuff and use them. And so I placed a pretty good sized order um, and um, with a particular person who deals in those types of papers. And so she sent them in this and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that whatsoever. It's nice and thick. Um, and it was thick anyway because the order was pretty big. Um, and I wanted to announce to everyone, I think it might be a good idea when we order things, you know how we have a place for comments to write notes to the seller, perhaps asking them to put on this type of, of um, mailing uh, packet, uh, do not bend, fold, etc., etc. You'd think that would be a given because this is pretty fairly heavy cardstock and the stuff that was inside, um, well, it's, uh, let's see if I can grab this with one hand here. You know, it's all of this and it's pretty thick and heavy and there's also some other papers that were inside too. She sent me a little gift and, and uh, that my invoice was in there and everything else. So, uh, but as you can see, um, the envelope is damaged and the reason it's damaged is because my postal carrier tried to shove it inside my mailbox instead of getting off his backside and going up to the door like he usually does so I'm not really happy about this I am going to the post office to, to complain about it because some of the the items um, they are actually are damaged they're uh, they've got kinks and you I don't think you can see them here especially with this p protective paper on here but they've got kinks in them because they came out they were in this way and I don't know if you can see all the damage to this side of the envelope but this thing is beat up, it's torn, it's bent. And so many of the documents inside, the longer documents, this one here isn't too bad. You can see a little bit of a kink, but that top one in particular, um, this one is, is all right. Um, but, you know, they ended up damaged. So I think it's a good idea. Let's just get in the habit of when we order things, telling them to please put on there, do not bend, do not fold, because our postal carriers... Um, are just assuming whatever's inside is not a big deal, I guess. Um, you know, and I, these things weren't expensive, but they weren't cheap either. They're not like a piece of regular copy paper. I had to pay for this document that's now damaged. So, um, anyway, so just a heads up. So I hope you all having an awesome day. And, um, and here, you know what? I'm going to show you this real quick. Can you see? I realize there's some glare in there. Isn't that wonderful? So, pretty cool. This is from 1808. Um, and a lot of the things that I buy are legal documents and such. Um, and I buy the, purchase them in different different languages. And um, some of them are marriage certificates, things like that. I, they're just so sweet and wonderful and romantic. Um, it, whether you read French or not, it doesn't matter. Or Italian. Some are Italian and some are English, too. So anyway, but hope you're all having a good day. Happy crafting. And uh, I promise I'll be putting some more videos on. I've been volunteering again. Any of you who watch my videos, you know I volunteer a lot, and I've been really busy doing uh, working for, for a couple of different organizations, not working, volunteering, and uh, that's going to slow down next week so I can get caught up on videos and stuff and get back to crafting because I miss it. So uh, have fun, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.